Okay, in this video uh, I wanted to show a few different elements. Uh, the first is going to be a negate. Um, so if you have a value that is, you know, um, opposite of what you choose it to be or need it to be to be used in a process, um, the instruction to be used at that point in time is a negate. Um, this is going to be um, in your located in your top header bar under the compute and math. Um, it's it is the N E G instruction, which is negate. Um, we'll go ahead and show that being used. So first, we'll add a wrong. Um, we'll add uh, the negate function. Um, We'll go ahead and make a tag, and the first tag will be um, the real value. Um, we'll just give it a name. Um, we'll make it a dent. Uh, better yet, let's make it a real. It's fine. That way it makes sense. It's a real, and it's a real value. Um, that's going to be, uh, let's just put it at 1,000. Um, then we'll put the uh, destination as the negate. Um, and then we'll put that as, uh, we'll put that as negated real value. And then again, um, once a real, you need to stay a real unless you transition over. Uh, that's just best practice. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll throw in a bit. <coughs> To say, um, actually, let's let's just not do that right now. Let's just show you the fact that that will switch over and switch and actually negate that. So um, it takes the real value and just basically flip flops it to a, a reverse. Um, what we can do at this point is add another one, and let's see. Let's go back to compute and math, and again negate. And we'll choose negated value and we'll choose real again. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to have uh, a bit behind it that says uh, negate uh, done. And then behind this one, we'll have we'll have uh, return negate, and this is just gonna you know basically swap them back and forth, um, and this is probably gonna be so quick that you may not see. Um, so what we'll do is we may end up throwing a, may end up throwing, um, uh, you know, a timer in there. So, um, first and foremost, um, you know, we need to get these actually cycling. So it's not going to cycle if that's not done. So what we need to say is, uh, well, what we can say is, um, we can actually come in here and do this for the time being, have this and then change it to this. And this is, they're probably going to keep yeah, they're going to swap so quick that you're not going to see them. The, so let's just uh, come in here and add a free running timer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add a timer in here. And all I'm doing right now is just showing you that you can, if you reverse it once, you can reverse it again. So it's not a big deal. Timer. And then we'll just make it really simple. Um, one second. And again, free running. So we'll just use the done bit for the timer and and have this uh, you know up here. 
So again, we're, now we're going to have our timer timing. Uh, we're going to have one in here that says that the timer is done. And then the other one is going to work off of the timer not done. So I'll basically just copy this, paste, and flip flop this around. And we can take these away because they're no longer needed. And then as soon as it gets done, it will flip flop back, right? So um, in this case, you can put this as like um, timer time in, timer done, or whatever you want to, you know, actually do. Or you can have uh, like limits in here. We can control it with limits to make it even uh, a more even transition so you could see it. I think that's a better avenue. So let's just say 250 to 500. Delete that, copy this, and paste it. Paste in there. Um, and then we'll take this to uh, 750 to 1000. Not 10,000, 1000. Okay. So now they should work. Um, you should see them flip flop. So the real value should, um, you should see them flip flop, right? So as far as that's going, um, you know, the real value is going into the negate, and the negate is going into the real. Um, so it's just, you know, as far as that going, it, it just transitions like that. Um, I know it looks like, it almost looks like, you know, they're just automatically staying the same. Um, had I had changed the value to here, you would both, you would see both of them do the same exact thing. Right. So they flip flop um, and work like that. So that, you know, using the negate is something that you, you can use to, uh, I just wanted to throw in some logic to show you that they, they will transition. Uh, it just so happens that they're so quick, uh, you're not going to see, unless this is a rolling number, you're not going to see it um, you know, transition that well. So um, we'll, we'll end up closing this video out. Uh, again, the negate is just used for um, usually a single purpose. So you won't have this down here. Um, you won't have the, any of this. And then you won't have this as far as this goes. Uh, you may have something in front of it, but as far as that's done, you know, anything that, that you populate in here would negate to a negative number. And just so happens, if it is a negative number, it will populate back to a positive number. So keep that in mind, and keep in mind that you're real to real and dent to dent. Whatever you want to use, it's fine. Um, you know, just make sure that that is um, something that you have. If you need to convert a reel to a dent, um, I'll be making a video on that. And a dent to a reel, I'll make a video on that as well. Um, so just use the negate feature. Again, it's really simple. If you want to swap the value to the exact opposite of what it is. Um, and there are cases you want to do that. So... Um, you know, it, it's very, very helpful. I mean, I've seen it used in multiple instances. So, um, you know, just something to keep your eye out for. And if you see it, understand, hey, this is what it's doing. This is why. And, uh, you know, therefore, you, you kind of understand the programming that just that much more. And it helps you with troubleshooting. Okay, so hopefully you found that helpful. And, um, again, appreciate your support and appreciate you... Uh, you know, if, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep on producing videos. Thank you.